well, like Bowie was into all this stuff, you know, and, and Major Tom and all this stuff in, like, in lots of different ways. And, in the, you know, and the, the kind of stuff he did towards the end of his life, uh, if he is dead, which is another discussion, you know. Uh, did you see that guy, by the way, that day after when he's supposed to be dead? I saw, I was watching TV right where I'm sitting now. And that I was still watching TV at that point. And I saw this guy, I said, that Bowie was dead. I said, that's Bowie. He's talking about himself. There was this guy on, he was from a record company, allegedly. I can't remember his name. And he was the spit of Bowie. I, I thought, wow. <laughs> but no, anyway, long story. But you know, like, like Bowie. First, sum up how, how you felt this morning when you, when you heard this. I, I was just saying earlier that I actually felt that part of me had died. I mean, I have to say that that's how much an influence he is, I think, to me and to thousands and millions of people around the world. And, and strangely, I, I'm surprised, you know, I, you know, I sort of lived through John Lennon's death, uh, you know, Elvis's death. And sadly, this one's affected me more than any other. I mean, it's a very strange thing. Because I think with him, he was probably the first complete artist where he was involved. He clearly shown us that he was a funny man. Or when could I, be when funny. I, when I'm, the times that I met him, yes. Um, uh, you know, I mean, you know, what was there not to be happy? I mean, the you know, pressure. Well, the pressure maybe, but I mean, he was he he was able to express himself in a way that most artists can't. Uh, one of the most beautiful wives in the world. I mean, you know, it's a sort of you know. I mean, what do you you know? I, what's not to like? What's not to like? And also, you know, I, I, he had such a grasp on technology. Uh, even when he got ill, you know, I mean, I, I heard that he had, was having heart trouble and stuff. Mm. But then he, you know, he sort of digitally released an album that went to number one in the UK charts. I mean, you know, so so I, I, I think, I think if I was Bowie and I look back at my career, I'd be pretty, you know, happy about what I've achieved. Uh, it wasn't easy for absolutely. him, I have to tell you. I mean, he fought every single step of the way. I mean, I know the American side was really hard because he was he was furious that uh, none of his records really broke big in America. And, and, and so he, he really got sort of annoyed and, and actually just packed up, went to America and then did the Diamond Dogs tour where he booked three theatres. I mean, I think one in Philadelphia, Radio City, and I think the other one was the, I think it was the Universal tour. I can't remember, it was the Universal thing.